Welcome back to Life is Strange, everybody. Thanks for joining me again. We are here on the grounds of Blackwell Academy, and in the last episode, uh, we took a quick look into uh, Max's journal here. Here's her journal. And uh, there's quite a bit of writing in here. You see in the bottom center of the screen, it says page one of 12. So, uh, whoops, what did I do with it? Oh, crap, where did her diary go? Here we go. Yeah, we got we got 12 pages of stuff here. And I want to read this. I don't know if I want to read it all at once, but um, let's go ahead and just start off this episode by reading a little bit of this. And maybe we'll learn what this place is. I, I'm still confused as to whether this is a um, like a high school type place or a college type place. I don't know. So July 10th, 2013, I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought it was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird. But they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I am going to Blackwell Academy. Well, it's sounding to me more like it's a college type place. Maybe it's like a real small place where uh, it is possible that you would know everybody in the hallway. Uh, so this was July 10th. This is over a month later, August 18th, 2013. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. <laughs> okay, so now, now it is a high school, right? I'm so confused. What a stupid thing to be confused about. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest. Back in a town, I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe, Chloe and I were still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable, au contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson, sigh, insert hearts and flowers, Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. So it's sounding like this is just another high school? Um... Okay, so we'll just read those for now, and then uh, let's walk around out here and do a little bit of exploring. And then uh, maybe we'll, if I remember, we'll start off the next episode with more reading in her journal. So here's that missing persons poster again. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. I don't know, but I have a feeling it's probably going to be something pretty important about this story. Who's this guy? Hey, Jogger Joggerson. Random dude running by. Here is Hayden. Hayden. Okay, we can look at him, but nothing happens. There's oh, Hayden there in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Let's speak to him. Speak. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. 
Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Vortex Club, Nathan Prescott, let's talk later. Let's talk about the v Vortex Club. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. <laughs> and it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Hang with a Vortex Club? You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Like who? Who the hell talks like this? I mean, this, this is like the kind of character you see on a TV show or in a movie. Who, who talks like that? Um, so he said, not bitchy like you know. Am I answering that question? Are we, are we supposed to be finishing his sentence? So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Who, who talks like this? Uh, what the heck happened to her, anyway? What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Hmm, did Victoria like Rachel? Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Okay. Was Rachel in the Vortex Club? Oh, we know she was, but let's ask it anyway. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Well, let's talk about Nathan Prescott. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right, and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. <laughs> he seems unstable to me. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. He has to get his chemical on. <laughs> Once again, I ask the question, who talks like that? Well, that was a conversation with Hayden. Uh, don't like him. Hey, what's this? We got an email maybe from uh, Warren. Ooh, what? Ooh, uh, whoa, whoa, holy cow, dude. Jeez, dude. Jeez, chill. Holy, what the, good, what? Um... Oh, that was us talking back and forth with him. I thought those were all text messages from him. Holy hell. Well, okay. So here is our little... I don't know. I guess this is our smartphone. And um, the messages that we just got were on October 7th. But uh, we have a little bit of a history speaking with old Warren. Uh, on the 2nd at 1.14 p.m., he said, Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse not to study. Please. And then later that, oh no, later the next day, he said, make sure you check out Necromantic on my flash drive. Mwahaha. And then, uh, and then on the 5th, he said, hey, Mad Max, let's, let's bust shit up. She's not responding to any of this. And then, and then he says, wait, I have to study for a physics test. So if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. And then he says, don't ignore this message. And then she did ignore it. Because then two days later, today, just now, he said, Hey, MX, because it's too many t letters to write MAX, can you get my flash drive? I need some info and space. And he says, Hello. And she says, Sorry, running late. And say, Day. Again, S R R Y. Saved a lot of time there by not typing in that O. Then he says, I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool. You'll see. And she says, my camera will be ready. See you shortly. And he said, I hope so. Okay. Here's a text from mom way back on 
September 21st, and she says, Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. And, you know, Max, being a typical teenager, did not respond to that very sweet message from her mother. Kate. Uh, so Kate, she's been talking to her since the 25th. Hey, Max, you around? Always, you okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely, I'll be free after four. And then she says, talk to you later. This is establishing that they're friends, or they were friends, that one day. <laughs> and they never texted again. And then finally, from Dad, who looks like a lumberjack. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still our little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. And not even a thank you from his ungrateful daughter. Damn. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. <laughs> yeah, well, we're going to take our sweet time. Okay, okay. You don't need to tell me to open my journal again. Oh, oh neat. We have an objective up there in the upper right-hand corner in the form of a post-it note. Objective. I need to go to my room to get Warren's flash drive. Why has Warren's flash drive in your room, young lady? We'll get to it. Don't worry. But we're going to walk around this campus first. And, uh, squirrel! Bunch of cigarette butts. Here's some graffiti we could uh, look at. No, oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. Oh, okay. That's an otter. Okay. Bunch of cigarette butts here. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. Yeah, at least do that. Gross. Gross grossness. That is gross. Poster, poster, poster. Blackwell Academy. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. Oh, yeah? Okay. Okay, if you say so. Poster. Otter power? I'm so not there. Oh, I probably read these in the wrong order. If I had read them in the other order, maybe it would have made more sense or comment there. And then, swimming pool warning. And this is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. Okay. No admittance without faculty supervision. So we found the pool. But uh, we can't go in there. I don't know if we'll ever be able to go in there. You think we probably will be. Otherwise, why would they have made a whole building for it? Missing person poster again. Here's a leaflet that we're going to look at. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Oh, another one. Okay. Um, Bible study. Uh, Kate M. Is that her friend, Kate? And then there's something for the Buddhist Center. And then there is... Uh, be, being bullied. Something about being bullied. Warren's oh. waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. <laughs> All right, game. Signpost, look. Now I have to go back to the dorm. This day never ends. Oh my gosh, this has been the worst day ever. Poor Max. Huh, I'm faster than you. Been raining out here? Oh, here's Brooke. Hey, Brooke, what's up? What you doing, Brooke? What you looking at, Brooke? Can't tell. Brooke actually has a drone. Oh, she has a drone? I hear it. There we go. A drone. There it goes. You know, it doesn't really look like the best place to be flying a drone. There's like power lines over there and there's a bunch of trees and, and light poles and people. Hey, Brooke. Let's speak. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? God, everybody's so rude. All right, let's not let's not be a jerk and be all like, is this legal? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and this is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? <laughs> uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. <laughs> Please step back. Screw you, lady. I'm gonna I wanna say the other thing just to see it. Alright, boy. There. Speak. Oh, here's her, her bag. Let's look at her bag. Ooh, we can search her bag. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy though. Search. <laughs> what a complicated name for such a tiny drone. 
a high fly B400 Evo? I don't think it's that complicated. Okay. So we looked in her bag. Whoa, what's this? What's this? What was that? There was a icon in the upper left hand corner. What was that for? Does that mean. Whoa. Oh man, we could look at details of people. Whoa. So. <laughs> Huh. Here's what we know about Max. My name is Max Caulfield, and ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. She's so unique. Maybe it's a way for me to be part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I was always drawn to old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I'm so quirky. Oh, it doesn't say that. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. Finally, confirmation. On a scholarship, even. I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever. At least until I left without talking to her once in five years. And it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise or mature. And I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with retro camera at my side. Say cheese. Okay, so that's her. So what was, um... Whoa. What the... Wait a minute. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not real sure what's going on here. So this is prologue, which takes us to page eight. But then there's Monday, which takes us to page 12 in this thing. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Anyway. Anyway, lots of stuff to read. We'll get to it. So now, I want to I wanna say something different to Brooke this time. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Uh, oh, no, no. We'll do this instead. That looks like a high-fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now, that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. All oh, right, we get to fly the drone. Cool. Whoa, 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 whoa! Am I actually flying it? Uh, no, I don't think I am. Uh, yeah, I. I it would have been cool if I could have, if it would have let me control the drone, but I'm not doing anything. It's just flying around. Yeah. So, uh... Oh, that's an advanced move. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a very advanced move. Look at old Max go. She's never flown one of these before, and she's a freaking pro. Hey, boys. She loves skater boys, remember? Yep. Don't get caught in the tree. That wouldn't be cool. So how long will this thing fly around if I don't stop it? It's cool, you see the shadow for the drone there? It's pretty neat. Okay, it looks like we're just flying in the same loop now. <laughs> Thanks for letting me fly your drone. I bet David Madsen would love to spy on us with this kind of drone. Here, uh, give the drone a whirl around campus. What, I, I just did. Okay. Yeah, I just talked to her again just to see if she would say something different, and indeed she did. So, okay, there's a sign there. Uh, here's a fountain that we can uh, sit at. Can, can my dad be okay? What? Can my dad be okay? You guys are retarded. Please find me a BF for prom. Please go ahead and kill me. Okay. Sit. I got her trained like a dog. This day has been so <laughs> insane. 
Okay, it has been a little Everything insane. Is happening too fast. I mean, she did learn she could. And none of it makes any sense. Control time. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Okay. She's just gonna sit here until I do something? It's kind of starting to look like it, isn't it? Get up! Get up, woman! I saw some other words written on this thing here. It says, uh... I just wanna graduate. And uh, here's some more. Make me famous, then fuck me. Okay. Uh, look. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. Huh. Okay. So this is a great image. Is this in our um, thing here? Remember, we're supposed to like try to match these. Uh, take take pictures. Ooh. Look. It's a. Uh, it's the statue, right? That uh, second picture. Here, I'll use my mouse. This one right here. Um, yeah, I don't see the, uh, coins, though. Look. But, we can look at this. I bet the Blackwell founders would shit cats if they saw today's student body walking around like zombies on their phones. They would shit cats, would they? Photo. Here we go. We're gonna take us a picture. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was great, with that bird on top of his head. And then we look in our journal, and what do you know? There is the photo. Okay, so we gotta keep an eye out for these things. We don't want to miss any of them. It's weird, though, how she says this would make a great photo, and then it doesn't give you the opportunity to take a photo of it. Missing person poster, another poster... I could go for a burger now. Mmm. The Two Whales Diner, Oregon's best burger. Hey guys, what's up? What's up, Justin? How's it going, man? There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. <laughs> They're so cute doing their tricks? <laughs> He's not doing anything. Oh wow, he actually did do something. Okay. Hm. That was animated pretty well, wasn't it? Nice job, dude. Hey, Justin, what's going on, man? Yo, Justin. Yo. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Uh, Thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving, or...? You're such a poser. <laughs> if you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Oh, gosh, he totally dissed you. He totally dissed you. Um, I guess that little icon means I can r run time back. So, how can we learn more information about skating before we talk to him again so that we don't sound like a total doof? No, nope, uh, I don't want to go there. <laughs> okay, fine. Jeez, who's playing this game? Me or you, Max? So we're going to rewind. And we're going to talk to Justin again. I'm trying not to be such a poser. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Uh, I came to Nose Slide. I came to no slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. <laughs> nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're going to destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Oh, man. I want to see, um, I want to see a nose slide. I'd love to see a nose slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Yeah, Trevor, get all over that action. Ooh, that was one sweet nose slide. Did I say that right? Sweet? Sick? I supposed to say sick, right? That was one sick nose slide. Hey, you're not really a skate Betty. Uh, I used to be? I used to be, but I'm into my camera now. I can tell. We need more girls out here. Rachel Amber and her punk friend used to skate with us. Really? You knew Rachel? You knew Rachel? 
She used to chill with us sometimes. But one day, she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. And if anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with our boards. <laughs> well, who's this punk friend you mentioned? Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> Ran away. Hmm. Uh, let's change the subject. Do you hang with Victoria? You ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Yeah. Let's chill later, Justin. Yeah, Justin, let's Anytime chill later. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. Oh, man, I can take some action shots. That'd be great. <laughs> Look at the drone right there. That's pretty cool. It's actually not a drone. It's a quadcopter. Get it right. Who's this? Hey, Daniel. How's it going, man? Hey, uh, let's uh, let's look at our peoples here. Uh, so we keep talking about Victoria. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwall Academy and a total bitch. And I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. 18-year-olds at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contestants. I think everyone I've spoken to so far is a reality show contestant. Victorial, Victorial? Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals? I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in the Vortex Club, and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she does know art and photography. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Mr. Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She does everything but sit in his lap. He keeps his distance, though. We can all tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. Ha! Huh. Huh. Ha! Alright, Daniel. Well, I just wanted to look at Victoria because, for whatever reason, she has to talk to everybody about Victoria. She talked to Justin about Victoria. She talked to Brooke about Victoria. Oh, no, she didn't, actually. I take that back. She didn't talk to Brooke about Victoria, but she did talk to Hayden about Victoria. So, let's see what Daniel has to say. Who's this guy? How's it going, Daniel? Let's uh, look at him first. Daniel is always drawing something. He makes me look like an extrovert. Oh, yeah? What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. <laughs> I'd be honored. Sketch away. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real news. Rachel Amber. <laughs> hey, what happened to her anyway? So what happened to her? There's got to be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Yeah, so how well did you know her, dude? You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. Hmm. Well, you know, it's hard to avoid all of her posters all over campus, man. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me, even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Hmm, thanks for the compliment. <laughs> oh, that's a good posture. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright. Good. Good. Yeah, good. Good. So is this one of those cases where uh, the game will basically just let me sit there forever? No, it won't. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Ever. It's really good. Good job. Good job, Daniel. Well, let me know when you put it on Facebook so I can look at it. This action will have consequences. Be you mean because I was nice to the creepy guy? He's not creepy, he's just quiet and he likes to draw. 
That was so cool. I'm glad I talked to him. Take more chances, Max. Yeah, yeah, take more chances, Max. Thanks, Max. I'd like to draw you another time if you want. Uh, okay, let's not get carried away. Who's this lane over here? Oh, and then these uh, people over here, can we talk to them? Stella. Stella and, um, Hot Pants here. Hey, Stella. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Yeah, good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? Uh, yeah, I, th I think so. I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, mm. but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Yeah. Screw the East Coast elite. <laughs> It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. What? what, what? Uh, now that you mention it, Victoria or no way? Victoria? Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal. But she's not the only player. Now... How do you know this? <laughs> you have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. What? Well, I heard that from a good source. You knew Rachel? So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Like, like, like what? Well, don't, don't, don't leave me hanging. I'd like to study this photo, if you don't mind. What? Just leave me hanging. Stella always looks All so right. serious and dedicated. Good for her. Exhibition panel. Let's look at it. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. That is so cool. Gosh. That is so cool, man. Who's this woman over here? Can we talk to her? Ms. Grant. What's going on, Ms. Grant? Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Oh, a petition, huh? Hmm, let's see. No CCTV. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Uh, sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Uh. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Uh, now who's this guy? David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Yeah. Um, you know a lot. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, Will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Hey, what's wrong with 1984? It was a great year. For sure, I'll sign it. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. Yeah. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Oh, we signed it. This action will have consequences. I hope I made the right decision about the petition. Oh, it's fine. Don't even worry about it. I'm sure there will be no consequences whatsoever. The petition is going well. I think we'll hit our goal. You know, I, I think cameras on campus might, might be a good idea, but when she started saying dorm rooms, that was out. Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. Boy, he does, doesn't he? I was just thinking the same thing. Oh, we can't step on her. That's all I like to do, just walk around on campus and step on people. Oh, well, let's see if she says something different about this one. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. Yeah, the moment of that cop's butt. Okay, somebody's sitting over there. Somebody's sitting over there. 
Let's see who you can talk to. Is there somebody standing over there? No. It's all this tree. It's like a gum tree. Boy, that is one low res texture. Uh, this is graffiti here. It says Vortex Club sucks. Clever. <laughs> clever. Still clever. Uh, this is Luke. Hey Luke, how you doing? That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Yeah, bullies. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Oh, dude, what's wrong? What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. Somebody needs to take that prick down. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, he'll take himself down. He'll take himself down. Yeah, history always proves that, right? <laughs> Just wait for justice, you sheeple. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. Who are you calling sheeple? I mean, I, I can't... Oh, I can rewind it. Let's, let's try that again. I, di I didn't like how that ended. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Well, we're gonna talk anyway. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. Yeah. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. Somebody needs to take that prick down. Yeah, let's do it. It'll happen. Karma doesn't play favorites. Yeah, history always proves <laughs> that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. Let's talk later, okay, Max? I don't know if I want to talk to you anymore. You called me a sheeple. I don't like that. I'm not a sheeple. Here's a photo album and an Evan. Photo album. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see his photos in there. Hey, Evan, can I look at your photos? I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. Oh, yeah. Mysterious. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. <laughs> You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Oh, well, everybody knows that that was Eugene Smith. Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images. But you should know the difference. Good try. <laughs> Wrong answer. Darn it, I really wanted that to be right. <laughs> I was gonna be like, yeah, everybody knows that. You knew that, right? Yeah. Well, we're gonna run it back until we get the right answer, because I want to look at his cool portfolio, doggone it. Evan. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple I love your question. Hair, dude. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Oh, that was totally Steve McCurry. Uh, Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years Duh. after the falling soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. Oh man, I was just testing you. I was just testing you. I totally knew it wasn't him. We're gonna get it right, man. We're gonna talk to him until we get it right. Hey, Evan. We're gonna skip it. Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You have to Uh, Robert Kappa. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. <laughs> I'd be Bunch honored. Just snobs. Yeah, let's look at his portfolio. Let's read it. These mm. photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Mm-hmm. So mesmerizing. I'm... Hold on, hold on a minute, everybody. I'm I'm so mesmerized. I can't I can't I can't go on. Can I not? Oh man, I can't turn the pages or anything. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Can't can't change the pages. All right. Thanks. Thanks, dude. It was great. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. Yeah. What was she like? What was she like? She was like mercurial. You know what that means. Uh, duh. Of course I do, you snob. Yeah, snob. I know, I can be a little diva. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Hmm. Oh, man. Gosh, Evan. Sorry. I have to get back to my portfolio. Yeah. Can we look at other pages in his portfolio? 
<laughs> she just grabs it and looks These at it. These photos again. are great. And right. Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. It's mesmerizing. Her face is so, so mesmerizing. Signpost, dormitories. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. She needs to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Well, who's this guy? Oh, boo, excuse me. I think that we've looked at everything that there is to look at out here. Uh, I believe so, anyway. I don't think there's anything else for us to check out. So, let us go ahead and walk to the dormitories area. Where we're supposed to go pick up a flash drive. Go to the dormitories. Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Yeah, brah. Bring it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, I was expecting to see the little um, save icon in the... Uh, oh, let's look at the parking lot. Is that is that where we came from? The parking lot? We didn't come from the parking lot. No need to go there now. That's weird. Why did the game put me here? Anyway, I was expecting the uh, little save icon to show up down there. Um, so that I could end my play session here, but I didn't see the save icon. Huh. Look. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. Yeah. <laughs> Plate. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? You're just now noticing this? How long have you been here? I'm just looking around. Can't go to the parking lot. No. Who's this? This is Alyssa. Hey, Alyssa. How you doing? I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Well, do something about it. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you? What are you reading? How you doing? What are you reading? What are you reading? What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Okay. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. What? That was, uh, oh, she's reading. Oh, man. I feel like Alyssa and I should be... Sorry. I really have to find out what happens. All right, I feel like there should be more here. Let's go back. What was that? Why did she reach out like that? <laughs> it was creepy as crap, man. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you? How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading Chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Okay. Well, I guess that's um, all she has to say. Sorry. I really have to find out what happens. Okay. Find out what happens. Recycle bin. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. <laughs> okay. Glad to see it too. So we... Oh, it's Victoria. Let's not talk to her yet. Can we talk to Jock Bro over here? Logan, bring it, bro. Hey, Logan Robertson, all American asshole. <laughs> Look at the birds up there. See that? Speak, yeah. Logan, speak. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Yeah, bro. Sweet. <laughs> Seriously? No, bro. All right. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. All right. I'm gonna steal your ball. Come on, throw it here. Come on, throw it here. Oh man, I couldn't catch it. Hey, what's up, to to Oh no, there's a totem over there. His name is a totem. <laughs> I thought his name was Totem. Zachary always looks like he'd rather be throwing back a beer than a football. What's the difference? Football, Max. Big football. Step away. Oh, okay. Sorry. I didn't realize it was such serious business. Let's go look at the totem. Oh, can I? Can I get over there? I can look at it from here. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Okay. Um, is that one of the things we're supposed to be taking a picture of? No, it doesn't look like it. 
don't see it here as uh, something to uh, take a picture of. No. I mean, I really want to catch this doofus's football. Oh. Oh. Nice, bro. Who dis? Hey, Kate. Another recycle bin. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Yeah, glad to see it. Kate, what's up? There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Gosh, what's wrong, Kate? Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. So, uh, you're looking a little down, Kate. What's up? You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Oh, poor Kate. Let's try that again. Let's see if we get a better reaction. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. How was class? How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there anything... Oh. Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Hmm. Okay. Nice, bro. Ooh. Look at the squirrel. This is going to be too damn cute. At least it's not a cat picture. Yeah. Hold still. Nice, bro. Mm. This girl's like, what the hell, man? Achievement unlocked close-ups? Okay, that was an easy achievement to unlock. Well, I mean, at least that, um... At least that uh, got the game to save. And sure enough, there is a little picture of a squirrel and uh, some litter. And if that's not a great place to end an episode, well then, I just really don't know a great place to end an episode. So anyway, we found a save point, so we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. When we come back next time, uh, we'll go over there and uh, we'll talk to Samuel. And uh, we'll go over there and talk to Victoria. And I remember something happening over there uh, from my um, Sunday sampler that I played. Uh, I made it to this awesome. point, and I remember something about maybe we spilled some paint on Victoria or something, but I remember there was some choice we had to make over there, so we'll do that next time. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, won't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. And if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing? Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure do hope you join me again in the next episode.